Are you a dictator? Living in a failed state? And even though you have money and troops who are loyal to you, you still just can't seem to get control of your country. You might just need the B Team. Would you like to know more? In exchange for cash, the B Team can offer you services such as reconnaissance, which can quickly turn into forward observation. That's danger close for artillery. Danger close. Danger close is an artillery strike within 600 meters of a friendly position. That would be us. Infiltration and neutralization of high value targets. Jesus, Gandhi, Lincoln, John Kennedy, Bobby Kennedy, Martin Luther King, Medgar Evers, Malcolm X, John Lennon, they all said, try to live together peacefully. Bam! Right in the fucking head. Locating and removing assets during low light operations. I'm casting magic missile. Why are you casting magic missile? There's nothing to attack here. I I'm attacking the darkness. Fine. Fine. You attack the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you guys are being attacked. Do I see that happening? No, you're outside by the tavern. QRF response. Demons are going to torture you. You're going to be burned. You're going to be stabbed. You're going to be raped. You're going to be whipped. You can't even cry for help. No one can save you. We can do this. Heroes never die. Dealing with wounded enemy combatants appropriately. He lit the fuse to the dynamite! Light the fuse to the dynamite! Ah, ah. The B Team. And they have a family photo on top of their VCR, where they're all looking slightly to the left. Wow, that sure was a fun trailer. Thanks for watching. The rest of this video is going to be information for those planning to play in the campaign and hopefully be a little bit entertaining. We are playing as a private military unit known as the B Team. The B Team is a morally ambiguous unit designed specifically for one and only one purpose. To get the job done. Just do it! And generally not engaged in long firefights. However, when long fire fights do occur, the B Team will be boasting a wide variety of equipment such as Hueys, H-64 Apaches, Javelins, M107 Barretts, and other common household military items you might find in any backyard in the United States. For the first leg of this campaign, the B Team has been contracted by a dictator of a failed state country. Let's call it Chernerus. Chernerus does have a small air force consisting of Su-25 Frogfoots, and MiG-29 fighters. Rebel do have AA positions up though. What does this mean for the B team? What is our goals and missions of the campaign? Well, it's fairly simple. The B team is gonna come in and we're gonna fuck shit up. During form up, there will be an arsenal box down for you to customize your character how you want in the campaign. You'll be able to change your look, your weapon, anything in the arsenal is free for you to grab and use. The option is up to you and your team leaders. Will there be respawns? Yes, there will be respawns. Some missions, you will respawn back in as an operator. Other missions, you will be respawning back in as local indigenous forces. <laughs> this campaign is going to be non-scripted based on your decisions and your actions will determine the outcome of the campaign. The players, not me, are in control of the story of where this campaign goes. For example, if you want to steal enemy equipment, you're more than welcome to. If you want to kill civilians, you are more than welcome to. If you want to blow up every single building and all the churches, you are more than welcome to. Locals might not be too happy with you, and they might increase their support for rebels. And finally, why are the rebels rebelling? For over four decades, the people have lived under the rule of a tyrant who denies them their most basic human rights. The operations are planned to be taking place on Saturday evenings. However, there may be some one-off operations on other nights of the week as well. Stop by the Discord to check out the events. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Stay frosty.